1027 WNEW, the Rock of New York, Super Tuesday with REM. Don't go back to Rockville off Reckoning. And shiny happy people from out of time. New REM CD coming in October, but mm -hmm. the boys will not be touring in support of the album, unfortunately. Why? Why I think they'll I think they'll pop up from in a few areas with a few live dates, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. But don't they, they're not going to go for a full-fledged tour in this moment in time, anyway, so... It's Opie and Anthony. We are still waiting for livestock to show up to the NEW studios for the Pearl Jam tickets. Anthony, this is an easy contest, right? I thought it would be easy. It's uh, You come down to the NEW studios with some livestock, a pig, a goat, cow, chicken, and we'll give you Pearl Jam tickets. It's Simple easy. as that. Yeah. Maybe we should send Rick down to the, the bottom. Maybe they won't let the... Uh the farm animal, animals into the building. Maybe we're exactly. having a problem, yeah. Want well, to let them on the elevator? <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> if someone got a cow up here? That would be pretty cool. That would be. But you also have another way to win the Pearl Jam tickets. you got to bring us a celebrity. Yeah. So it's either bring us livestock or bring us a celebrity for the tickets to see Pearl Jam. Easy. Hottest ticket in town. And for the people out there going, there's no way in the world you guys are going to get livestock down to the NEW studios. Well, if it doesn't happen, all the tickets that we have today is going to carry over for tomorrow's contest. Mm-hmm. Because we have like five pairs a day we're giving away here. All right? Yeah. Actually, there's a guy on the line. <clears throat> he's got an interesting idea. What? He's got some eggs. And eggs. he's got a voluptuous uh, woman. Voluptuous. 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 Voluptuous wo woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's got big hooters. <laughs> and this guy wants to do a little experiment. He wants to bring the girl down with the eggs. Okay. And he wants to put, like, the eggs in her bosom and see if they'll hatch before 7 o'clock for the Pearl Jam tickets. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Come on. Why is it ridiculous? And hatch eggs like that. I've, I've heard it done before. And we are looking for the livestock, so if the, uh, technically if the eggs hatch in this girl's bosom, right. she would win the Pearl Jam tickets. Hi, Annie W., what do you got? Okay, I got, I got eggs. All right. I got a naked lady, a naked girl. With you? Yeah. Bring them up. <laughs> but am I going to get my Pearl Jam tickets? I don't know. If the eggs hatch, yes, you will get them. <laughs> Wait, you really have eggs and a naked girl, and she's going to try to hatch the uh, eggs? I can do that. How big are, are her breasts? <laughs> Uh, big enough to incubate an egg in under 10 minutes. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Come on up. We'll give it a try. All right. I'll see if I can make it there. i got to get a taxi right now. All you, right. you got to get up here immediately. Uh, but I'm, I'm downtown on West 4th Street. Well, get jump in a cab. It I'll should take you 20 do. minutes. All right. All right, man. Okay. Now, that is something I want to say. <laughs> All right. There's something sick and twisted about that, but... Do I come you got your digital yes. camera, hopefully? Yes, I do. Okay, very good. So hopefully the guy with the uh, the naked lady and the eggs will show up before the show is over so we can check that out, okay? Cool. On the way, we got two first from the cars and Led Zeppelin next. Stay there. 1027 WNEW, The Rock in New York, two for Tuesday with the cars. Don't you stop and shake it up. It's Opie and it's Anthony. Hey. And it's a very, very sad day. Ronald Reagan's uh, dog died. Yes. Well, he was the best damn uh, phone I ever had. No, no, no. He was what? Yes? No, um, Mr. President, yes. he, was your, he was your pet. He wasn't your phone. That was a fine shoe. Uh, uh, he, I used to take him with me everywhere. Uh, in the bathtub and to Jupiter. No, no, when we, uh, yes, hello, Mr. Gorbachev, <laughs> tear down... That hair weave. <laughs> I, no, no. Your your dog's name was I'm Ra a little Rex. rascal. In my little rascal. Oh, God, Hello. What a mess. Yes, here, Rex. Nancy. No, 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 Nancy, no, 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 why no. isn't Rex moving? No, Re Rex is dead. Bob he's President. very. He's tired today because <laughs> we we were out playing on the out in the rose garden yesterday, and well, no, he's a little tired, old. No, no, no. Uh, bingo. You, ha you haven't been to Washington in many years, Mr. Yes. Reagan. Your dog was 13 years old, and he's now dead. Well, Rex. the communist menace must be stopped. <laughs> And, well, uh, Spot, who uh, well, while was we have, a good... Uh, <laughs> oh, a here, Katie, Katie Rex. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Uh, while we have you in the uh, in the studio, um, yes. uh, President, what do you think of Clinton and the sex capades in the Oval Office? You would have never done anything like that, well, right? No, no, I think... I think uh, Kennedy's doing a fine job <laughs> in <laughs> no, no, office. No. And well, well, I know someday when I become president... 
<laughs> Where's Rex? Rex is dead. Nancy. And, and, and Kennedy's not in the office anymore. Yes. It, it's Clinton. They both uh, do broads, but uh, Kennedy was broads. banging. Kennedy was banking uh, uh, starlets. Very, very good abroad. Uh, when I traveled abroad. <laughs> all right, all right. And brought peace to where the hell was that? Well, where's Spot? Well, well, Bingo. Mi well, Mr. President. And she is. I, I, I got, um. Now, let me just say this into the microphone. No, no, no. The microphone's uh, over here. What's hello? Yeah, right there. Yes. Stay right there. Operator. No, no, no. Could you, yes, what? <laughs> okay, listen. Listen closely. Closely, okay? yes. I, I got the phone number mm. of uh, your vice president. Who? Herbert Hoover? <laughs> no. Who's that, my... Uh, George Bush, who uh, went on to be president, obviously. I got his... We will win, me and George Bush, in 1980. I guarantee... No, 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 no. Yes, listen, my... Listen, what? Listen, listen, listen. Yes. Okay. I got his phone number, his office phone number. Would you like to talk to George Bush? Yes, please. Maybe he can console you over the loss of your dog, Rex. Where's Rex? He's not lost. Put George through. All right. Well, it's ringing. So, um, well, start talking. I think. Hello. Hello. Hi. This is Ronald Reagan. I'd like to speak with George, please. Is there something I can help you with, sir? He is in Kenny Buntport, Maine, out of the office. Well, could I have that number then, please? It's two zero seven six five zero. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my God! <laughs> what a f idiot! Oh, oh my God! Oh no! You gotta be kidding me! Is it George Bush? Hi, this is Ronald Reagan. Can I speak with George, please? He is not here today. Can I take a message? No. Well, do you no. have a number where he can call you back? No. Well, he knows my number. I just. Well, I guess I'll try back. You know when he'll be in. Uh, he's traveling all day today, and, and we'll be back in the office tomorrow. Okay, I'll try then. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Oh, <laughs> we were so close. I thought I was going to be able to find Rex. Yes. I know <laughs> George Bush was a <laughs> fine man. When did you say he passed on? Wait, wait, wait. Can I have Anthony back for a second, Mr. President? Yes, Hello. <laughs> Anthony, 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 Anthony. What? You almost talked to the former <laughs> president of the United States of America. What is that, woman insane? <laughs> he just gave out his private number in Kenny Bugport. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you realize how close we were? We're going to have to try that again tomorrow, man. <laughs> that is unbelievable. <laughs> that impression is so unbelievable that <laughs> off our CD, uh, Demented World, yeah. We called the Reagan Library once in uh, California, and they completely bought that they were yeah, talking they thought, to the ex-president of the United States. Yeah, because Nancy was showing up uh, the next day. Yes. And I kept asking, uh, well, Reagan kept asking, where's Mommy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, they, they were like, she's going to be here tomorrow, Actually, Mr. President. You know, we haven't played that uh, call in a very <laughs> long time. We'll try to get it on before the end of the show. It's priceless. In honor it, of Rex, his dog. Yes, and, and we're going to try these numbers again and see if we can get the ex-president on the... Here on the go. air today. Here's here spot. <laughs> All right, Super Tuesday. Here's Up Bingo. next, we got two from Creed. Stay there. 1027 WNEW, The Rock of New York. Super Tuesday with two from the debut CD from Creed. That's What's This Life For and My Own Prison. It's Opie and Anthony. Creed coming to town with Fuel September 15th to Roseland. It's going to be a very, very good show. And maybe we could get the boys in the imaginary ballroom to play a couple of those ditties for us. That'd work. That would be very cool. Yeah. All right. Um, wow, a lot of things going on here today. We almost talked to the ex-president of the United States of America oh, okay. by accident. So close. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. We do got some uh, numbers now. <laughs> if you were listening a little while ago, Anthony went into his um, Reagan impression, which is absolutely amazing how good that one is. Thank you. And we uh, called the office of uh, George Bush, and he wasn't there, and the secretary gave us his private number in, Ken something. in Kenny Bunkport. And just by the luck of the draw, he wasn't in Kenny Bunkport when we called. So we're going we're gonna to try maybe tomorrow or later on in the show to get him on the line. Get some bush. Could you imagine if uh, he's on the line and he thinks he's talking to Reagan? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That'd be pretty huge. You'd scare me. Yeah. Secret Service will come and wrestle me to the ground. Also, we got uh, tons of Pearl Jam tickets still left here. Mm -hmm. Gave all, all our tickets away yesterday. Today we are looking for livestock. And a bunch of people are on their way down here, but so far, no one has arrived with the livestock or the celebrity. you believe it? 
No livestock and no celebrity. No, and if we don't get anyone to come by with uh, the livestock or the celebrities today, we will just carry over all these tickets tomorrow. Till tomorrow, yes. And we'll have like 10 pairs to give away tomorrow. But for today, I mean, you still have an hour and 20 minutes. We're looking for either a live chicken, a live goat, a live mule, a live cow, or a live pig. Of the, see, uh, of the large, smelly variety, by the way. No guinea pigs. The guy that came by before with uh, Dice. And uh, that didn't qualify as a celebrity. No, he turned him away. Actually, Dice just kind of hangs out in our lobby anyway. And it was almost uh, livestock because he's a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of hangs out in the lobby hoping we would put him on the air. But every once in a while, we'll throw him on. I know. But... We don't put him on, though. But no, 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 not today, Dice. No, no. No, 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 no. Kiss not, my ass. No, no, I don't want to hey, be Hey, not show. today. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Jeez. Thank you. Nice. We don't need him today. Thanks a lot. Oh, you could bring by a bona fide celebrity, and uh, we'll give you uh, tickets to Pearl Jam. Mm -hmm. But we got to make sure it's a, a real celebrity. A real one. And also, supposedly a guy's down, coming down here with a girl and eggs. Girl's going to get naked. She's going to put the eggs in her uh, breast. And try to hatch them. And try to hatch the eggs for Pearl Jam tickets. So that way it'll be livestock. Yeah. These little chickens. Yes. He called. He's stuck in traffic, but he's going to try to make it down as well. So. All right. Hey, we got stockbroker Dave on the line. Ooh, explaining the day's events? Yes. Stock market uh, closed 288 points up. Let's see what he has to say here. Stockbroker Dave. Yo, what's up, boys? Well, uh, first of all, me and Anthony want to bow to you. Why? A couple weeks ago, you said that the market was going to be in trouble in the very near future, and look what happened yesterday. Hey, even a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> uh, do you have any livestock sightings today? No, not yet. But listen, there was a guy that called yesterday, and he wants to personally thank you because of uh, your advice you gave a couple weeks ago on our show. He got all his money out of the market and saved a bloody fortune. Get out of here. I swear to you. So is he going to buy me a drink? He wants your number. He ain't getting it. There you go. <laughs> he ain't getting it, but he's very welcome. All right, so the the stock market uh, closed 288 up. Up 288 on 1.2 billion. What are you thinking? Wow. What are you thinking? What, what's in your mind right now, Dave? Right now, I'm going to see Joe Conker, and I'm thinking about the three martinis and the ten bong hits I'm going to have. Prior <laughs> <laughs> right to that, uh, I'm not really, it's just uh, it's going to be choppy. Yeah, Over yeah. the next uh, couple of days, it's going to be... Uh, Trading between seventy five hundred and eight thousand until anybody gets a clue what the hell's going on. Uh huh. Um, what does the future look like? Like down the road a little ways more with uh, Asia and Russia and all <laughs> turmoil. Anthony, this is down. We got hit pretty good. Uh, yeah. Uh, safe to go back in the water. I mean, your bottom here is seventy three hundred. You got some good buying opportunities here. Yeah, I know. I just got to figure out what they are. I, I got like two hundred dollars now. I can invest. Cool. <laughs> Everything that's down does come back. That's true. So, um, I mean, but then you take a look at Microsoft. Now's a good time for Microsoft. Dell. Dell was, uh, was down thirty dollars. Yeah, you know, it's got to go back. It's got to go back up. Cool. Go back now, up. Dave, you're still in for the two hundred ninety dollars if the girl shows her breasts well, on the yeah, Today I'm Show. In. But I can't believe nobody uh, showed you any livestock today. But definitely somebody would come up with a great tit. <laughs> you like that yesterday? I loved that one yesterday. <laughs> I mean, I think you guys are a little out of bounds with the colored guy. But, uh, Can you believe that? Oh, Opie, where the hell did you grow up? I don't know where Opie grew up in Mississippi <laughs> the in the 60s. Folks? The last time they were called colored folk was before they turned the hoses on. <laughs> I don't understand what Opie's saying, colored. I colored did, folks. I didn't know what to say. It's better than Negroes. Negro. I, I thought that was going to be next. I didn't say that. <laughs> but not Dave. We're still waiting for someone to come by with some livestock for the Pearl Jam ticket. Cool. Can I say a, a, a hello to a friend of mine who's pretty sick, guys? Yeah, hit it. My uh, partner, Patty Diggins, loves his dad very much, and he's not doing too well. Uh, but, Mr. Diggins, we all love you, and uh, we hope you get better. All right. We appreciate that, boys. All right, David, we got to let you fly for now. Take care, boys. Take hey. it easy. Thanks. Bye-bye. 1027 WNEW, The Rock of New York, two for Tuesday with Billy Idol at Sophie and Anthony, and we have some livestock in the studio. If you're just tuning in, we're asking people to come on by the NEW studios with some form of livestock to win tickets to see Pearl Jam. And Gil has arrived with a baby duck. It's a little baby duckling. Gil, where did you get this baby duck? I got it from a live poultry on, uh, in the Bronx in Jerome Avenue. <laughs> you got a, you got a little Bro duckling in the Bronx? They're selling uh, ducklings <laughs> in the Bronx, huh? Yeah. Ooh, I'm giving them a little drink. <laughs> oh, how cute. It is. It's very cute. All right. Well, what are you doing with this thing when you're done with it? Yeah, what, uh, do you, what are you, are, are you going to do with this? Do no neck snapping. No, most likely I'll give it to my lady cousins so they can play around with it. <laughs> play around, oh, great. <laughs> give it to your little oh, cousins no. so they can play around with it. That doesn't sound good. Poor little guy. You're going to have Pete on her ass in a minute here. <laughs>
But, all right. Well, you're going to win the tickets to see Pearl Jam, our, our first winner of the day, huh, Ben? Yes. Wow. All right. You still have an hour to come on by with either a celebrity, a known celebrity, or a, ah, there he is, or a uh, another form of livestock Ooh, before 7 o'clock. Let me see this thing. I haven't even okay. seen it yet. Here's the box. So be careful because you're I'm, I'm fine. Fluffy. Let me just, let me just, oh, look, look at the Look, isn't he cute? Hey, what are you still, oh, oh you idiot. Wow, that feels so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 don't move. I'll go get you a towel. That is sick. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did I dropped the box on the, the sound? Uh, yeah, I did, but that, it turned out okay, actually. I guess so. it worked. All right. Well, we got to thank Gil for coming on by with the little duckling. All right, wait a minute. And I think the big duck just molested the little duck, and I think that's very illegal somewhere in the world. We have We have your phone number, right? Yes. Okay. I want to call this guy. Before the concert, and I want to hear this duck cheeping into the phone, or you're not going to the concert. <laughs> I don't want you do, pulling any shenanigans. Oh, look at the cuties drinking. Oh, look at Anthony. What a puss. Look at him. He's very cute. He's fuzzy. What a puss. I don't want anything happening look to the at... poor little guy. All right, that's fine, but you don't have to act like a little puss. Not a puss. <laughs> I just don't like little ducklings. I'll eat them when they get older, but they're cute when they're small. Look at him. Oh, look, now the girls are in. <laughs> and they're all saying how cute he is. These girls will kick your ass if anything happens to this duckling. All right. Isn't he cute? Oh, I hate when girls make little noises when they see a little pet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, well, Gil, congratulations. I think you got the tickets to Pearl Jam, all right? You think, or am I going to have them? As long you as better as long as nothing happens to that duck. <laughs> you'll, you'll be all right as long as nothing happens. You'll be hell to pay. All right? Thank you. And you'll get Eddie else? Vedder uh, out there and tell the crowd to beat you to a pulp. That's you know right. how he feels about animals. And everyone else has about 55 minutes to get more livestock down in the studio to claim their Pearl Jam tickets. Beep. On the way, I don't even know what we're doing next. Oh, we'll do two from Tom Petty. Stay there. No, two seven W N E W, the Rock of New York. Two for Tuesday with Tom Petty into the great wide open and don't come around here no more. It's Opie and Anthony. Thanks. You got forty five minutes left to come by with some more livestock to claim your tickets to see the sold out Pearl Jam show. Yeah. All right, it's Opie and Anthony, like I said, and uh I, I hope I hope he's uh, nice to that duck. Well, we had Gil come by, and he found a duck in uh, the Bronx. Not a duck, actually, a duckling. A duckling. It was like uh, it's about four inches long. Yes. A little cute little fuzzy yellow duck head, a little duck bill, and he just peeped. You're such a puss. Peep. Well, I when like... Did, when did you get so sensitive? Baby animals are cute, and I don't like to think that he's a... Uh, oh, please. You know, uh, two steps out the elevator, he's pulling the old snap the neck and, uh, you know, off the Pearl Jam. Well, I don't want to see that happen either, but you're just such a puss. What are you talking about? Because I, I hope that no harm comes to a little baby animal. You're this brave radio DJ in, in New York with all these uh, pretty sick, edgy opinions. Doesn't matter. And, you're, doesn't... and you're over a box with a duckling inside going, Look. I was talking to the little duck. And you're petting it and stuff. I was embarrassed. Hey, I eat veal. Why Come you, on. Why don't you go put a tutu on, man? Oh, shut up. What? He was cute. He was a baby duck. What, what am I supposed to do? What, are you going to go home and like pet your little duckling and watch Titanic and cry and, and put the Celine Dion soundtrack yeah, on oh, your Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Right, right. What, do you, what, what would you have me do? Hit him with a rock? What? He was sitting there peeping. I'm looking at him. Scratch his little head. So, so Ant, you like ducks? Beep, beep. It was cute. A little duckling. You like little ducklings, huh? Yeah. Okay. So? Uh, I got to ask you a question. What does that make? I got to ask you a question, Ant. Why? Okay. What, what did you have for dinner over the weekend? What, I don't know. I don't remember. No, no, no. Hey, what did you have for dinner over the weekend? I guess Friday I had steak. I had a big steak. Uh -huh. That was good. You had nothing else for dinner over the weekend? Saturday, um... Anthony, the, the sensitive one that's petting and, and cooing over a little duckling. You had nothing else to eat this past weekend. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You sure? Yeah. You're positive. Positive. <laughs> Are you positive? What? Yeah. Uh huh. I don't remember. I probably, you know, just had like sandwiches or something. Oh. Maybe pizza. All right. All right. Why? What are you? What are you uh, getting at? I'm getting at something. What? I got. I got a friend of yours on hold here. Where? Over there. I can't figure out how to get him on the air here. I just... <laughs> All right. Really? Yeah. And what does he say? Huh? He said. It... I'll, I'll put him on next. I get. Earl, come here. How do I get this phone on the air? I screwed up a button here. 
You sure? There? You sure? I'm sure that you only had steak for dinner this weekend. Yeah, steak and, and pizza. And pizza. That's what I remember. Okay. Uh huh. And you were cooing over the little uh, the duckling in the studio, right? It was cute. Randy. Hello. Randy. Hello. Hi. Don't don't curse. We got you live on the air. Oh, okay. Randy, one of uh, Anthony's very good friends. Yeah, we were hanging out this weekend. Now, Rand, did you hear Anthony cooing over the little duckling yeah, in the studio? Yeah, I did. It's very cute. All right. Now <laughs> tell the oh, it's a cute little duckling. Now, now, Randy, tell the whole world what Anthony had for dinner over the weekend. Um, Sunday night he had a uh, mandarin duck. <laughs> <laughs> And he said it was delicious. <laughs> well, you're a hypocrite. That's man. different because it's full grown. <laughs> Damn, it would have brown sauce and mushrooms. It was like really good. <laughs> it was good. I tasted it too. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, Anthony, the little ones are so much more tender. <laughs> Duckling McNugget. <laughs> uh, turning me in, Randy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're such a hypocrite. All right. Uh, sorry. Uh, all right, Rand. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Later. All right. <laughs> I got you. You're such a loser. What? It was a duckling. Not a full-grown <laughs> duck. I'll forget it. <laughs> two for Tuesday. Coming back with two from Soundgarden. <laughs> 1027 WNEW, The Rock of New York. Two for Tuesday with Soundgarden. Burden in my hand and Black Hole Sun. <laughs> it's Opie and Anthony. We're having hey. a lot of fun today. Lots going on on the show today. It certainly is. Uh, we got to get back into this Reagan thing. Yes. <laughs> Where's my puppy? Well, it all started. Uh, we read in the paper that uh, Reagan lost his dog Rex. Had him for I 13 did. years. And uh... where did I put him? <laughs> Probably with my mind. Nancy. <laughs> you want to go through this? Again. No one's. No one's eating the dog food I put out. Is this what Nancy goes through every day? You think? Yes. Trying to like get a a conversation going with you, Mr. Uh -huh. Reagan. Does she? <laughs> Who the hell's Nancy? Oh, God. Anyway, uh, we decided to call George, George Bush's office as uh, the President of the United States. <laughs> and the, uh, George Bush wasn't there, but they gave us his uh, private number in Kenny Bunkport. Kenny Bunkport. <laughs> <laughs> so then Reagan called there, and they pretty much told him to call back tomorrow. He'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to try that tomorrow. We'll try tomorrow. But uh, search. the point I'm trying to make here, this isn't the first time that we pulled uh, one over on somebody, you know, when you did your Reagan impersonation. Yes. And uh, a bunch of people have called in to, to hear this again off our CD, Demented World. Well, for me, it'll be hearing it the first time. Because <laughs> I can't quite remember when I first heard it. Halfway through, you may have to start it again. Okay, we could do that for you, Mr. President. But uh, yeah, the we have president a... here. Where? <laughs> oh my God! Help me! Hey, uh, what do you think of Monica Lewinsky, uh, Mr. President? He's a fine man, <laughs> and he'll make a great Secretary of State. Uh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, offer CD to Meta World. A CD, by the way, you can't buy in New York for some no. reason. I know that's a great record company we got. Oh. Sells everywhere else in the country, but the place we're at and broadcasting from, uh, you can't find the things. I would kill to be on, like, k -Tel Records <laughs> yeah. at this point. I want to be on label. Rhino Records or something. We're on Screw em Good and Hard <laughs> record company. <laughs> but So if you if you can find the CD, it's it's filled with some laughs. Good luck finding it. It's called Opie and Anthony's Metal World. And there was another time that Reagan... Uh, pulled one over on someone. It was the time he called the, uh, his own library in California, the Reagan Library, looking for his wife, Nancy. 27WNEW, the wreck of New York on Two for Tuesday, finishing up our show with uh, two yes. from Jimi Hendrix, Voodoo Child with the slight return and the wind cries Mary. Mm. Sophie and Anthony just about out the door. Got to thank uh, Gil Evar of Jersey for bringing by the baby duckling that Anthony fell in love with. Shut up! Shut up! You did. I thought it was a very cute little duckling. Yes. Fall in love with. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have a bestiality uh, <laughs> sex with a duck, Opie. I picture you're going home with a little duckling. You're gonna, right. You're going to pet it. You're going to fantasies. Go you're going to pet it. You're going to put on your little pink tutu. You're going to put it on your uh, Titanic video that Making... you just bought. You probably stayed, you know, was online last night at midnight with all the other lovely ladies right. to get the Titanic video. And this you're going to have a lovely you, night tonight. This, this making you hot talking about me like this? <laughs> Because uh, uh, to tell you the truth, I never think of you in a pink tutu. You can think of me like that all you want, whatever gets you off. Hey, the listeners agree with me today. 
you showed your very sensitive side today, and it was very scary. You were petting the little duckling and, and cooing and worrying about its safety. Cooing. Did I ever go... <laughs> All right, you went... <laughs> what, what did I do? What, do that again. What? I'm what? Not, I'm not doing it again. So I, I, I pet a little baby duck. Then you were, you were worried about its welfare. and then we... I just didn't want the guy snapping its neck when he got off the elevator. And then a little later on in the show, we found out that you had duck for dinner over the weekend. <laughs> it is a grown duck, and they taste very good. I see. I just don't uh, want a little baby duck uh, killed. So this guy can get Pearl Jam tickets. But that's it's okay all. if the duck grows up and then it's killed. So yeah. You can have it yeah, days. that's okay. all. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Right. As long as they're cute. Uh. Cute animals don't kill. Kill the ugly animals. That's fine. Kill the ugly animals. That's fi I'm fine with that. Okay. Like cow, veal, I don't care. Put them in the box. Oh. Tenderize them. Yeah, mm -mm. yeah you're the same person. Oh, forget it. I'm, well, I'm, I'm not a militant animal rights activist. I don't even like animal rights they're activists. They're a mess because... But when you get a cute little duckling going beep, beep, beep <laughs> at you... At you what are you going to do? Drop a brick on it? Huh? I don't know. There he is. <laughs> He's the cute little duck, see? <laughs> you're an idiot. Because <laughs> you're the same guy. I am. The same guy as what? That goes to the restaurant, and not only does Anthony order veal, mm -hmm. he likes to make sure the whole restaurant knows he's ordering veal. Having veal! <laughs> veal here! And every waitress gives you that look like, oh, I know it's on the menu, but do you have to order it? So? Top of the food chain, pally. I understand. I'm sure if an alien came down here and found us tasty, we'd be flambéed too. <laughs> Just so happened that this time and place, we are the top of the food chain. Something I, walks in front of me, I'll eat it. I but the duckling that. McNugget wasn't quite big enough to chow down on, so I didn't think the guy should, you know, snap its neck or anything. Okay, that's all right. Well, thanks. But you don't find little animal, baby animals cute? They're all right. They're all right. I'll check them out. You're warped, man. <laughs> I mean, I know what, I'm warped. Who wouldn't think a little baby animal would be cute? It was it was cool to see, yeah. So you look at it, you tap its little head, it opens its little bill. Dude, I was feeding them water. Dude, you were talking to the thing and petting it. I was just saying, you want some water and putting it on my finger, and he was oh, eating, to, like, drinking the water off my finger. <sighs> homo. Anyway. Homo. Yeah, that makes me a homo. I didn't say okay, nothing. Okay. I heard what you. What did I say? I heard you. I, I said nothing. Fine. <laughs> Tell all the guys at the glory hole when you visit tonight uh, what makes you a homo. <laughs> what? Saying that uh, a duck is cute. <clears throat> Or uh, Pickle. what you what you're gonna be doing? Pickle spot. Tell me. <coughs> you going to the dance club tonight, Butler? Um. Anyway, uh, yeah, we I got like a duck. Okay. What yeah, a, we got to congratulate whatever. Gil from Jersey mm -hmm. for bringing by the duck. Yeah. That thanks, Anthony. Gil. Fell in love with. Yeah. Fell in love with. It. Yeah. We're getting married. <laughs> so I'm marrying a duck. Pagola. <laughs> Well, anyways, whatever <laughs> you know what rhymes with duck, Opie? <laughs> Take that and you at the end of it, okay? Duck you. Okay. Go duck good. yourself. Very good. You're a ducking idiot. Very nice. I like that. Okay, good. Also got to congratulate Nick from New York. Nick Mera. Mira. Something like that. He won the Pearl Jam tickets, too. Giving away Pearl Jam tickets all week long on the mm -hmm. Opie and Anthony show. And uh, tomorrow, I think we're going to use the phone because there's a lot of people outside uh, Manhattan that wants it. They want a chance yes. to get tickets too. So we'll come up with some fun phone games. They don't like guys. the fact that they have to come down here. Well, I People understand that. It's tough, away. and we want to make it fair for everyone. So tune in tomorrow at three to find out what you got to do tomorrow to win the Pearl Jam tickets. Very good. Okay. <laughs> All right, Opie. <I'll> <laughs> yes. <laughs> homo. Anyway, take a week. Okay, homo. Shut up.